Welcome back to County Connection. For our final segment of this October episode, we're going to be talking about the general election in November and how you can get out and vote. And here to tell us all about it are Kathy Neal and Stacy Campbell from the Summit County Elections Office. Welcome, ladies. Thanks for having us. So we have a general election coming up in November, and the Summit County Clerk's Office is really a hub of activity for um, everything locally election related. Um, so remind us, when is election day? Election day is November 6th, that's a Tuesday, from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Okay, great. And so one of the great things about voting in Colorado is that it doesn't have to be on election day itself, that's just the deadline now. Um, so Colorado conducts elections by mail. So tell us about that process, including the timing. Um, Colorado is a mail ballot state, so that means every active voter gets a ballot by mail. They don't have to request one. And uh, those ballots go out the week of October 15th to every voter in, Co in Summit County. Great. Um, and if people are interested in checking out a sample ballot, um, where and when can they do that? We have the sample ballots on our website, and, and we also have them in our office. Okay, great. And um, for uh, folks who are not yet registered to vote or for people who have um, moved since they last voted, um, what are the deadlines associated with registration and how do people go about registering? Um, people should check on Go Vote Colorado or give us a call. We can verify their registration and assist them in updating it if they need to. Um, and they can register all the way up to Election Day. Great. And Go Vote Colorado is really a, um, a really slick, easy to use um, uh, online um, kind of interface to be able to check on your registration and your address and all that sort of thing, right? It is. It's really handy to have your driver's license out while you're looking yourself up um, just because it might ask you for that driver's license number to help find and locate your record. Um, but other than that, you can you can search yourself relatively easily. It's uh, govotecolorado.com. It's the Colorado Secretary of State's um, registration portal for voting. Okay. And so when people do receive their ballots in the mail um, and they fill it out, um, then how do people go about submitting that ballot so it gets back to your office? Yeah, so there's three different ways um, that I'm thinking of right now as far as voting goes. Um, the easiest way by far is to just sign that envelope, uh, seal it, and slap a stamp on it. It just takes one postage stamp uh, to return it back to our office. Or uh, we do have five drop boxes that are 24 hours uh, available to folks to drop off your ballot in there. No postage necessary if you utilize those drop boxes. Um, and there are five different locations that you can find on our website or actually on the return envelope itself. It does mention those locations. Um, they are secure, they are monitored, um, and they are checked daily. Um, something important to note though is that they will not be open until the week of October 15th. So once those ballots go out, they will open up. All right, great. Um, so let's see, um, speaking of all those different locations and um, places to vote, uh, you have a new online tool that your office created in partnership with the Summit County Information Services Department um, with our GIS folks. Um, tell us about this new tool. Well, it's just a map and it person in the Summit County can put in their address and it will show them the closest 24-hour drop box or the closest polling location. Excellent. And uh, and people can actually enter their address into there um, and then even get driving directions Correct. if they need yes. them, right? Excellent. Um, so let's see. If people receive their ballot from you in the mail and they um, make a mistake while they're filling it out or they accidentally spill their morning coffee on it or they lose it, um, what can people do? You know, they can just give us a call. We'll stick another one in the mail um, if there's time. If it's getting close to election day, they can come in the office and we'll give them a ballot or during the two weeks before the election, they can come in and early vote in person and on election day. Okay. And so in most previous years, um, we've closed down the motor vehicle um, functions of your office in order to accommodate the 
huge volume of activity associated with the election. So is that going to happen this year as well? Yes. So great point. Um, we definitely want to make sure that the community is aware that the motor vehicle office um, that is a part of the clerk and recorder's office, it's all hands on deck for us that day. And so um, we do close down the motor vehicle office that day um, all day long, but we reopen uh, the day after at 8.30 a.m. All right, excellent. And uh, so people should just make sure that they've got that uh, day marked on their calendar, not only yes. for voting, but if they happen to need to register their vehicle that they're not looking to do it on election day. Yeah, That's Tuesday, it. November 6th. Mark that in your phone or your calendar. Yep. All right. And uh, so if people need further details about voting, registering to vote, um, dropping off their ballots, uh, where can they find that info? We have a lot of information on our website and we are always happy to you know, answer any phone calls. They can always give us a call or come in the office and we'll help them. Uh, one other thing I wanted to add is this is an extremely long ballot this year. It's two-sided, 18-inch ballot. So we're encouraging people to vote by mail, take your time, research the candidates and the issues, and um, then stick your ballot in the mail because it's going to take a while to vote, <laughs> that okay. big ballot. Um, and then people should be getting blue books in the mail that have at least um, some basic information about the um, issues on the ballot, is that right? Yes, that's correct. And we do have the digital version um, available from the state um, on our website, summitcountyco.gov forward slash vote. Um, that will take you to the landing page and you can click around there and there's lots of resources. Um, the blue books that people are accustomed to receiving as well as the Tabor notice as well. All right, fantastic. Well, is there anything else that uh, our voters here in Summit County should be aware of related to the upcoming elections? Make sure you vote. It's important. All right, thank you. Um, well, and you know, thank you also for all the hard work that you do uh, related to making sure that we have um, elections that go off in Summit County without a hitch. It is a tremendous amount of work and, uh, and you two are the heroes of uh, our election and voting process in Summit County. Thank you. And thanks to those of you who have joined us from home for another episode of County Connection. We'll look forward to seeing you next month.